Hey everybody, it's Bure Perry in Tampa, Florida, and today I'm going to show you how to save a session template so that every time you create a new session, the folders are all named what you want them to be named, so you don't have to do that all the time. It's actually pretty simple to do, but it's not easy to find on the web, which is why I'm making this quick video. <laughs> Here we go. So let's say you want to have a new session. So you go to File, New Session, and it brings up the session dialog box, which is going to look just like this. So you enter in the name of your session. This is going to be called Testy. This is the name of my session. And then where you want the session to be located. I'm going to locate this one on my desktop in a special folder I made called Clients, specifically for this demo. Select folder. So now it's going to be saved in the folder called Clients. It's going to be called Testy. That's the session. Now, as you can see, it's going to name your capture, your selects, your output folder. It's going to give you these default names, capture, selects, output, etc. So let's just take a quick look at that, right? I'm going to go ahead and OK. So now we created this new session and now we're going to transfer over to the new session. So now we're in the new session. And if I go down to uh, find it, uh, where is it? It's going to be in my name, right? Uh, desktop. There it is. OK. Clients. And there it is, testy right there. And you can see here's the folders it created, capture, output, and selects, and trash. And then there's the icons next to them. Now, if you go up here to the top, you'll see the session folders. And you will see the same folders and the same icons. What's important to understand about how these work is that there's two things. There's the name of the folder, and then there is the designation of the folder within Capture One. So the Capture folder doesn't have to be called Capture folder. It can be called whatever you want it to be called. So if you're accessing the folders from the session folder right here, then you're accessing the folder that you have designated as the capture folder. If you go down here to the actual library, to the system folders, you will actually be accessing the folders by the name of the folder. Now right now they're the same, but what if you wanted them to be different? Okay, let's do that. File, new session. This one will be called testy2. Right? It's going to be saved in the same location, except I want my capture folder to be called Capturama. And I want my select folder to call Select Me. And I want my output folder to be called Check It. <laughs> so I've renamed three of these folders. But you see, Capture Rama will still be the capture folder. Select Me will still be the selects folder. So watch what happens when I hit OK. So now we create this new session and we're opening the session. And when you look at the top in the session folders, you'll see that it still just says capture folder, select folder, output location. This is the designation of these folders. But if you go down to the actual folders and look in the uh, system dialog and go to desktop and go to clients and go to testy, you will see that they are actually called Capturama, Check It, and Select Me. If you would open up a browser window on your computer, that's what those folders are called. But as far as Capture One is concerned, they are the Capture folder, the Selects folder, and the Output location. Does that make sense? So if you click on Capturama, you will see everything that's in that folder. And if you click on the Capture folder icon up here, you'll still see everything that's in that folder. See the little icon? The little icon next to your folder tells you what it is. The camera means it's the capture folder. The uh, little gear means that it's the uh, output folder. And the little arrow means that it's the selects folder. So, how does this, why, why would you want to do this? Well, let's create a new one, new session. So, my problem is uh, that I already had a system in place when I switched to Capture One. I actually had folders in every single client file and they were always named the same thing and that's what I'm used to and I just don't really want to go back to, I don't want to learn a new system. right? <laughs> so here's what you do. My capture folder is always called raw and my selects folder is always called JPEG and my output folder is always called retouch. So now I've renamed the capture folder, the selects folder and the output folder to these new names. And I'm going to save them in the same place. And this, and this one is going to be called Testy3. So this session will be called Testy3. And it will have the same, you know, capture selects output folders as the others, but they have a different name now, right? So I'm going to say, OK. It's going to open up the new session. 
and just like before you'll see that up here is the designation of the folder but if you go down to the actual folder in a browser which this is basically what this is this is just a browser and I go to desktop clients testy3 you'll see that now they are named JPEG, RAW, and Retouch. They have different names now. So let's say that every time I create a session, this is what I want. I want my capture and my, and my output. I want them all to be named these particular names. All I have to do is go up to where it says File, go down to where it says Save as Template, and it will then save it to my Templates folder. And this template will be called Testy3. And now I can save it. Now, here's something I want to point out. It's a nice little tip. If you work on two different computers, like say you you know you've like I've got I've got Capture One on my computer in my office, and I've also got it on my laptop, then what you want to do is up here where it, t it shows you where it's where it's actually saved in your computer, copy that and paste it in a document or something so you know where it is, and then later when you're done creating your custom settings, go in and make a copy of the template, and then just drag and drop it into the same folder on your other computer and then that template will be there you won't have to make it again it will be there it'll be the exact same template for you so i'm saving this as testy3 save and that's it and now i'm done the next time i go to create a session i go new session the folder comes up like this and then i go right here to template and i can click the arrow and here's all my templates including testy3 the one i just created and you notice how all the other dialogues disappeared? It's because I've already told it what I want those things to be. So now if I create a new session right here, we'll call this one Testy4, with the template from Testy3, I will get a new session. The folder will be called Testy4, but all the folders inside will be named the same as the folders that I named in Testy3 because I have saved a template. So let's go down just to double check and make sure. Let's go to, oh, there we go. There's my name, desktops, clients. There's Testy4. And as you can see, everything is now JPEG, RAW, Retouch. So that's how you save a template so that you have the same folder names in every single session that you do. And you can save templates for multiple sessions if you have different folder names that you want to use for different things. You can do that, and it saves you from having to type it in every time you use it. All right? I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.